Hey guys, my name is Stanley Hudson and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this incredible Maleficent doll cake. I think this looks stunning. I just incorporated all of my favorite elements from the dress that she wears in the trailer and I turned it into this bomb doll cake. I love this cake. I This is like a redemption cake for me because I didn't like my first Maleficent doll cake. So let's get started. Now before we get started, make sure you hit that like button as well as the notification bell so that you can get notified when I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Now to create this Maleficent doll cake, I'm just doing all the doll cake basics. I'm starting with my Wilton's doll cake pan. I love this pan. I think it's kind of hard to bake cakes in this pan because it takes such a long time and you're never sure if the middle's gonna be <laughs> just right but it, it it ends up being okay so buttercream in between the middle of each layer of cake some simple syrup to make sure that it's moist and then I cover it with a coat of buttercream just a crumb coat after that on goes my first layer of fondant yes this covers the entire cake a lot of you talk about how you spend a lot of time cutting away the fondant at the bottom but if you're using a piece of fondant that's 10 inches in diameter then your fondant will be the perfect size no cutting just shaping the folds at the bottom and then placing in your doll now i placed in my doll and i'm using a little bit of fondant just to blend the cake to the rest of her waist and then I'm adding on a deep V top. Who loves deep V tops? I do. I place them on so many of my doll cakes. I think it's gorgeous and it looks gorgeous on this cake as well. So we got one panel on one side and then I'm just putting on a second panel to create the other side of the V. Yes, we got a lot of sideage going on there but it's looking stunning. And once I finished paneling on the cake, I started to add panels of fondant to give my cake flow. Each panel looks kind of like a sail, just a very suede triangle. And then I fold it back so that it creates this really nice fold. Looks like it's moving. Oh. I'm gonna blend this in with some fondant tools. I should have gone with a lighter color black because you can't really see all the details since it's so dark put a lot of detail into this. Now I'm gonna repeat this process again five times all the way around the cake until I'm satisfied with how many folds I have. It looks stunning, I love this. I think this is my favorite way to create folds for a cake because it looks like it's moving. Doesn't look static. She's dancing. She danced like Sleeping Beauty before she put that narcolepsy spell on her. I created some detail using my fondant molds and these are like leaf molds. And I created them using a lighter black. This is almost like a, a, a charcoal gray. The reason I used that color was so that you could see them when I was placing them on the cake. I'm just highlighting the ends of the folds I created with these. And then I'm applying on these. What are they? They look like heads, but they're not. They're beaks. They're giant crow beaks. One of my favorite things about the trailer is the crow whatever this is collar line and it, it just looks stunning. How many crows did she eat? Are they chicken beaks? I don't know. That probably makes more sense but who's eating crows and why are you letting crows bodies go to waste if you're not eating them? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Um, I love the way that they look on her neckline, so I'm just using them all the way around my cake. So I'm imagining that they're like giant crows, and then we're using itty bitty crows as we get to her waist. Now when I was creating this cake, I was very careful about how many details I put on the cake. The other cake I created, there's too many ideas. They're all on the same cake and that's why it's terrible. I hate this cake, but it still has a lot of views, but I cringe every time I watch this video. I'd delete it if it wasn't making me money. So I made sure that I simplified my design a ton of times just to make sure that this would be perfect. Now because we have the crows on the bottom of the dress, I didn't want to add them to the top. Instead I'm using some ruffled fondant with the same like charcoal gray and just applying them to her neckline. 
highlighting the deep V. I wanted to make sure she always has really nice collars in these movies and I wanted to make sure that this dress had one as well. Now it did not look diva-ish enough so that's why I'm adding a lot to the sides just to add more drama. Now this is a backless dress but I am going to add just a little bit of a shawl. I think that's what they're called. Just so that she looked like she was wearing a sleeved dress. After that, it was time to start painting. I'm just using a little bit of diluted black food coloring with a little magic sauce and just painting on all of the leaf molds. I don't even know what they are. They were like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like leaves. It's this mold. This is like a flower petal or it could be like a feather or it could be lettuce. I don't know, maybe too small for lettuce, but like the inside of the lettuce, it could be that too. So I'm just painting them so that they look more realistic. The diluted magic sauce just falls into all of the cracks. It looks really nice. Look at that. I think this is one of my favorite cakes. It looks divine, you guys. And when I was adding all of like the luster dust, black luster dust, just to make the crow beaks look a little bit dirty, I was really happy with this. It looks sick and stunning and very striking. Wow. The thing that I'm most proud of on this cake are the crow beaks because I took something that was just like little details on the top of the actual Maleficent dress and I turned it into like the centerpiece of my doll cake. I'm very happy with the way this turned out. I think I redeemed myself from that first tragedy that got a lot of views. <laughs> now I'm curious, what did you think of my first Maleficent doll cake? Do you agree with me that there were too many ideas, too many details, it needs to be refined? Or would you rather this cake, this stunning deep V cake? Oh, you're looking so glamorous, Maleficent. Where's your party? What party are you going to? You're gonna fight with the hostess? I bet you are. Now, if you wanna see more Maleficent stuff, I've got a Maleficent cake up on my channel. I'm also working on one right now. You see it in the back? They see you, boo-boo. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!